What's going on, everybody? Today, I'll be explaining why I believe LeBron James should win the MVP award over James Harden and Giannis Antetokounmpo. As many NBA fans know, last year, Giannis Antetokounmpo won the MVP award. This year, he is again up for the award alongside James Harden and LeBron James as other candidates. Most people believe that Giannis should win the award this year as the frontrunner over LeBron and James Harden. I am here to tell you why I disagree. Both LeBron and Giannis led their teams to the number one seed in each of their conferences. In the regular season, LeBron averaged over 25 points while shooting over 49% from the field. This is pretty incredible while he took over 19 shots per game and still had to play alongside another star in Anthony Davis. LeBron is not only a scorer, he is also a team player, dishing out over 10 assists this year in the regular season, which was the league leader. LeBron achieved this all in one season while playing a career-low 34.6 minutes per game. LeBron did this all at the age of 35, practically averaging a triple-double while being just two rebounds away from that achievement. His stats have not declined, but they have gone up. He is averaging a career high in assists per game, three-pointers made per game, and with 13 triple-doubles and 46 double-doubles this season. If you compare both the players' stats, LeBron averages more assists and steals per game, shoots better at the free-throw line, makes more three-pointers per game, and commits less fouls per game. LeBron has shown with over 15 years in the league, he can still put up all-star stats and even MVP stats. Some may argue to say that Giannis has played better than he did last year when he won MVP, but the reason why I think LeBron should win is because at this age, he has shown that he can still dominate on the court, and he can also put up MVP-like stats. Not many players have been able to do what LeBron has at his age and at his point of his career. To show how much of a difference LeBron makes on the court, the year before he played with the Lakers in the 2017-18 season, the Lakers had a record of 35-47. and 47. In his first season with the Lakers in the 2018-19 season, in the 55 games he played with the Lakers, they had a record of 28-27 and 27 when he played in games, while they had a record of 9-18 and 18 while he didn't play. This is a major drop in winning percentage of when he did play last year and when he didn't. This season where LeBron was much more healthier and played a lot more games than last year, the Lakers were 50 and 17 when he was on the court. Thank you for watching today's video. If you enjoyed, please subscribe and leave a like down below and turn on post notifications to be notified for weekly uploads about a variety of content that includes anything really about sports and videos like this about the NBA. And I'll see you next time.